It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Steamers and the Black Knights, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are thrilled to once again return to the gateway to the West, the proud city of St. Louis, Missouri. Tonight, we move on to week two of the preseason, and we've got a compelling matchup here between the Memphis Steamers taking on the Black Knights of St. Louis. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down in the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over the... Started now, the kicker, Chris Boswell. And off we go on EA Sports. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. They'll be led out by the pride of Wyoming in his sixth season with one of the league's strongest arms, Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Snap comes in one, and it's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. Now what a first down pickup of eight. To the air, Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Looking to throw, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. This second and four. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Cook again. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. On second down, Cook. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Allen on third. So Tyler Bass on now for the field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hatch. The kick by Bass is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. 
Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away from position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led out by the second-year pro out of Pitt, looking for a big jump in year two, Kenny Pickett. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Third and nine here. Back to throw, pick it. Oh, his first throw of the game, gonna be intercepted. Inside the 20. And he will take this one home, it's a touchdown. CD, what a sensational start for this defense. Instead of just forcing the three and out, which they were about to do, they pick it off and take it in for the score. Yeah, I mean, they didn't just settle for the standard good way to start a game. They started in dramatic fashion. Take it away, score points, and guess what? They'll be flying to go back out there on defense again after that play. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10 0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Pick it. In trouble, and he's taken down. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. Yeah, and you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. 
They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Allen hit. He lost the football. It's going the other way. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. His early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Boy, this defense is circling early. A pick six there, and they are off to the races here this first quarter. And, partner, when you get off to a first quarter lead like this, it really frees you up defensively to take some chances, really apply some heat. And that was just a tremendous play to pick that ball off and bring it back for a score. Here's Bass now for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So an early advantage now and a good one. 17-0 our score as they kick this one away. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. He's off to a pretty shaky start, to put it mildly. He's had two passes picked off and run back for touchdowns, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. After the pick six, here's Pickett to try again. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Tyrell Dotson from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Well, someone is certainly having a big game. And while that sack doesn't quite have the splash of his pick six from earlier, you know he's thrilled to be making big plays during a great individual effort today. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Off the play fake. Here's Pickett. And they're going to sack him yet again. The pass rush has been relentless. This time, it yields a safety. All right, partner. Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. Hines now on the return. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even yeah. tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Allen looks to throw on second down. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Pick it now on first down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops. 
and not allowing that turnover to hurt. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. A handoff for Warren. Oh, look at the juke. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. Touchdown! Pat Fryermuth from 17 yards out. And the Black Knights get a bit closer. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. A drive that time of six plays. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game. You're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To throw a talent. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Allen going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. First and 10, here's Pickett. Throw left side, complete. That's one. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Pick it a look to throw it here. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, Got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. So after the INT, it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
You often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Allen. And it is caught. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. And they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. And again, it's Allen. Throwing towards the sideline. Hines with it. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis from four yards out. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete Make him feel good about himself and continue to run your offense. On the give, it's Warren. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Here's Pickett. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this returnable for Hines. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing now is Allen. That is caught. Kincaid with it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. 
And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Joey Porter Jr. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you could do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Pick it. He's going to throw it again. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is brought in at the 21. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. But they find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now Allen off the bootleg. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. A gain of five. First down, Memphis. Here's Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. From the 41, here's a second down and six. Cook up the gut. Oh, what a move. Still on his feet. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. 74 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So down inside the five-yard line, I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. Allen. And it's caught. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs from four yards out. And the Steamers are able to add on to their first half lead. That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with the touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage, probably taking advantage of their natural instinct after that previous play to be aggressive and rush towards the line of scrimmage. And instead, they were vulnerable to the pass. Bass on for the extra point. Oh, 
And that will bump the lead up to 26. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On first and 10, it's Pickett. A short one there to Fryermuth. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's Fryermuth again. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw, pick it. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one... A little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a run with Warren. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Third down and ten. Pick it. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Boswell's kick is good. And that'll put us within three scores as it becomes now a 23-point game. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. On the return, it's Naheem Hines. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Josh Allen and the offense heading back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox, and he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Call that a gain of 11. Good strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Allen now on first down. He'll find Gabriel Davis. So the completion good for just three, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and seven at the 46-yard line. Allen to throw once more. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. So danger averted for the moment. But now here's a third and long. 
The veteran who spent last season in Denver, it's Latavius Murray. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Pick it back to throw. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Pick it now on first down. Can't get away, and he's taken down. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one. And then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, still a lot to keep an eye on. Guys battling, trying to make a ball club. We'll send it back to two guys already on our team. That's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Expect to see a good number of backups going forward as we are back and underway here in preseason week two. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now it's the backup Rudolph. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. They'll get this complete to Calvin Austin. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Rudolph going to throw on third and one. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action. It's Rudolph. To the right side and complete to Washington. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up. And now Sean McDermott is going to throw out the challenge flag. The previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Here's Rudolph now on second down. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They'll fake it. Now Rudolph. Oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. This has kind of been the story all night long, hasn't it? An inability to really get much done on third downs, and it's costing them. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half.
Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Now Allen throwing on second down. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now third down and very long. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is incomplete. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they have the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you've evolved. Yeah. You know, you've learned how to play it the Madden way. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now second and nine. From the gun, here's Rudolph. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Throwing on third down, here's Rudolph. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Out of the gun, Rudolph. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's Rudolph. Complete to Washington. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now it's Rudolph. And it's caught. Touchdown. Calvin Austin, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Black Knights are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. They'll look to throw, and they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone, and that cuts the lead a bit further. But well, still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Yeah. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, here's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Here's third and a few inches. Now Allen off the bootleg. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And sensing the momentum, maybe changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown the last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. You know what I hated as a defensive back? Boy. That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Rudolph now to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now a play fake, and it's Rudolph. Oh, he had he was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. On first down, Murray. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Man in motion is Sherfield. Allen. And that's to the tight end, Davidson. So the completion good for seven there. And third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. He finds his man complete. It's Murray. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially on third down yeah that one how about the defense figured that one out in a big way yeah they completed it all right and lost yardage a 40-yard punt one yard on the return and now this offense comes back out onto the field see if they can put this drive in the end zone charles because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times they've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives so are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game is that what you're trying to say yeah. well i mean i'm okay with it i have a feeling that this offense they don't want to see the punter again and frankly the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself he would love to see his offense put together a drive 
and give his leg a rest. Oh, the motion comes too late. And this is going to be a delay. Delay of game. Office. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still second down. Rudolph throwing on second down. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. On the return, Hardy. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Throwing on first down is Allen. Pass caught, it's Justin Shorter. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now a second and two. Allen now looks to throw. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Allen to throw once more. Going with a screen for Murray. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. That one goes for eight yards. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Now Allen. This is caught, it's Hardy. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Davidson. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Ball at the nine on second and eight. They'll give up the gut for Murray. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. And, get... and they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. 
They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. The kick by Bass is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now left side on the swing pass, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's Rudolph. And he finds Austin complete. And he's brought down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And, Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, 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 with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. That is caught, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And the ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. Back to throw Rudolph to the end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the... And this is going to be intercepted. Kair Elam makes a pick. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Time to ground it out now with Murray. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. 
On third down, Murray. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Fourth down, desperation time for Rudolph. He'll let it fly for Austin. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. A shotgun handoff. This is Murray now. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today, and really... I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.